So, here we are at last. This is the end of Jujutsu Kaisen, and I am here to do my reaction to it. Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Manga Andrew, and I'm here to do a sort of like reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 271. And this is something that I typically do with series that I have read uh, for a long periods of time. I decided to do my final reaction to the final chapter. Uh, Typically, this is the format that I usually do is that I record my reaction to it and then I post it uh, for My Hero Academia. That was more of a special case where I decided to live stream the final chapter because this channel is primarily My Hero Academia focused. But I'm going to go back to my roots and decide to pre-record my reaction to it. Not going to do it live and I'm just going to see how this goes. Uh, the setup is a little bit different than normally, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be doing my reaction to the final chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen. And if you're wondering like why I'm all dressed up and I didn't really dress up with My Hero Academia's ending, that's because this is how I decided to dress up when I did reviews for Jujutsu Kaisen, which is something that I actually did frequently, which is also something that you you could probably tell if I were to show you, I don't know, my intro. E either I played the intro now or I, I didn't, or maybe I just cut myself off. Uh, well, I'll never know. Uh, editing me, let's see what happens. But overall, this is what I used to dress up when I did like kind of reviews for Jujutsu Kaisen. So I thought that it was apt for me to put this get up back on and do it again. Actually, this is my chainsaw man attire. Uh, just give me one moment. Ah, much better. Yeah, I kind of wore the One Piece jacket when I did Jujutsu Kaisen. I didn't have any Jujutsu Kaisen paraphernalia. Sue me, okay? But yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen has been a major part of not just me on my channel, but just me in general. I like the story of Jujutsu Kaisen. I've read it for a while. It took me a while to even get into the anime and I haven't seen season two, but I've read the manga in its entirely. And another reason why I'm deciding to do it now is that Jujutsu Kaisen has this reputation of having better fan translations than the official, where the official apparently has made mistakes that are not necessarily the case in like the early or the fan translation. So I'm going to be reading from the translations. I will not be reading the official chapter for this reaction, even though I do support the official release. I try to read most of the series that I like on Shonen Jump or on a legal website. So always support the mangaka, the author by reading the official release. I will always support that Shonen Jump $3 a month and you get everything shonen related plus still continuing weekly releases of other series such as you know Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 or Part 5 which is wild that we're getting that on Shonen Jump so but overall I'll just give my brief experience with Jujutsu Kaisen liked it enjoyed the story however the ending seems to be a little bit more decisive and me personally I think that overall my enjoyment for the series has slightly gone down alongside the storytelling potential of gay Tommy when it comes to Jujutsu Kaisen but overall it's still a very good read and if you wanted to or you haven't read Jujutsu Kaisen and you're just discovering me now hi go read the series I'll, I'll give you a little bit of time it probably shouldn't take you more than like four or five days to read it maybe a week you can come back or if you want to watch it and see it right now um sure but I always advise you to read it officially before you come and watch this video all right Everything's good? Have I monologued and mumbled long enough? Uh, do you want to see me actually react to the chapter? All right then, I guess I will. And just for clarification, I really have no idea what's going on with this chapter. All I know is that people have been saying that it's bad. And I'm like, oh, if it's bad, oh, the My Hero Academia fan inside of me will be just livid. And it's cool. We're starting off with a uh, double page color spread, strong and intelligent allies gathered together where Oh, this is a very, I, I think, oh, is this the first time we're getting the official color scheme for all of the characters colored by Gege Akutami? If this is the case, ooh, boy. Uh, uh, ooh, Nobora with red hair. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm just, it's, I'm, I'm, it's, it's weird to think about it. Also, where's Mei Mei? Where, where, I do not see Mei Mei here. Where is Mei Mei? Cause like, I don't see, also there's just a whole bunch of like characters that are alive in day, but this is just all of the major characters in Jutsu, Jutsu Kaisen. Up there is Mei Mei. They have different colored hair. Sure, fine, whatever. Overall, this is great. I love how it looks. I love how it's showing pretty much all of the characters that have played major roles in the war, in the, well, not, well, I mean, like, not like a war, but the battle against Kenjaku, against Tsukuna. Uh, also, if you hadn't read the chapter prior, uh, it was wrapping up a lot of stuff extremely quickly. And now we're continuing with, like, what we left off with the last chapter of the main three of uh, Itadori, Megami, as well as Nobora going on seemingly their final mission for Jujutsu Kaisen proper. Also, people are saying that, um, oh, so the title of the chapter 271 from here on out, people are saying that there may be a sequel series. So that's something interesting. Uh, I'm not going into this with any expectations whatsoever, so I don't expect there to be a sequel series, but if it is, cool. If not, that's cool. But all right, let's get into the actual chapter proper. As we have, oh, Nobora catch the scoundrel yes they're trying to find potentially a sorcerer that was left over from the culling games who may be affecting this random person as we have no borders like couldn't find a curse seal or marking anywhere on this chick the curse users gotta be nearby right assuming there's not a cursed spirit and are working remotely we ought to get the hell out of dodge as you have ethic doors like you think we're in their range Megami's like maybe also Megami has like a I just realized the scar in his face is like a lot more brutal than I remember it being but Megami's like their technique could be suited for covert work or they could be extremely skilled with cursed energy this is becoming a pain as Nobora is like did he face did his face ever go back to normal like at all no I mean I didn't think so maybe when I was asleep Everyone's just looking, it's like, as Megami's like, assuming it's a no, then we're dealing with a range of at least 500 meters, so let's say 100 to be safe. That's the move. We're smack dab in the middle of town right now. There's people everywhere. Even if we check the buildings, there's too many blind spots. Although we should be able to notice when the technique is activated again, if we get a good vantage spot. Okay, as we have either of those like, Oh, duh, we just have to go to an open field. But why, 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 Itadori? Why, what, why would that, okay, let's read on. That would be great if our guy was a colossal dumbass. <laughs> yeah, okay, that tracks for why Itadori would say it. As Itadori is like, does that make me a dumbass for coming up with it? As you have no Boros, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is, I like uh, it's been a while since I've seen this interaction before. Oh, this is great. As the was like, I give it, let's give the babe to Itadori. He can clear a hundred meters in a flash. The culprit technique range. Even if the technique is disabled by moving out of range, they'd have to be a real idiot to show themselves right after. And we've already established they're not gonna chase after us. They just wait till things cool off and start over. We can't do anything to stand out. <laughs> also these faces, what's up with these faces? Who's the more now, Kugasaki? How about sitting them to an all expense paid trip? Oh, that's interesting. As we have Nobura saying that, as you have Megami's like, that might work, but the curse user likely knows her location through their technique. We only have our eyes. Let's not stalk the stalker. Okay. <laughs> if we send them on a trip, they might force the curse user to wait and reactivate their technique when they get back. Okay, that makes sense. Not entirely impossible, but they put the ball in the culprit's court. Do you do anything but nitpick? Yeah, plus you're assuming this curse user's dude is super smart. There's plenty out there dumber than us. Oh god. Oh that's I <laughs> try me at Othello, Fushigoro. I'd wash you. Hell yeah, let's show them our braids. You two sound like you're compensating for something. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Oh, how, how does this get worse? We'll have them leave the techniques range, then we'll strike the moment it's reactivated. I'm borrowing your sandals. Okay. What exactly what we've been, that's exactly what we've been saying. My plan involves that. Hmm? A 40 floor condo, it should easily be over 150 meters. Oh, then Ichiji-san and a window can keep an eye on the buzzer and the entrance. We'll find a good lookout point and wait for the reactivation. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Oh, oh, I missed a part. It should be easily be over 150 meters. We'll have them go visit. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Their, quote, friend and zip up to the top floor to get out of the technique's range. Okay. We'll find a good lookout, yeah, point, and then wait for the reactivation. We're dealing with a creep obsessed enough to stalk Fukuzawa-san 24 hours a day. We didn't find any hidden microphones. As long as they don't have a technique that lets them overhear our conversations, we should be able to bait them. Okay, that's actually cool. As we have Kugisaka, or, oh, I forgot her name. It's like, oh, your face is back to normal. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I see. Okay, yeah, that's really good. So they got the range. And then they were able to find it be reactivated and they found the guy responsible for it. it was like who the hell are you as kugasaki ready for launch god his face turned back ah uh, okay so yeah they find oh oh what the frick yo nobora coming through with her hammer coming after the guy as itadori is also it's like dash wham piece of cake <laughs> Bro, they got them anime eyes. Oh, that's actually hilarious. <gasps> oh, divine dog. This is like idiots. As a dog comes up and captures him immediately. He's like, you guys. Taking things lightly, I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know this dude? No, I've never seen him before. As dude is like excited, he's like, you bitch. Who do you think bought you that bag? And she just looks at the bag and is like, they look, oh. Who thought a classic pot calling the kettle black type situation seems like a petty grudge is not reasonable to expect her to remember every customer from her hostess work. Oh, dude spent a million yen. Who'd forget that? Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. You're so clueless, you know? That, oh my gosh. He wants to be a hostess as he's like looking over there seeing the guy like mulling over the fact that like he's couldn't get her to remember he's like hey don't look so gloom chum not like you're gonna be executed or anything as you have him saying what are you gonna do with me i'm well past the age where i should know how to communicate but i tried putting all of the blame on her i thought that after kusu kusakabe sensei it, i do switch training with you gojo Sim oh Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh, wait, we're just going into a flashback? Wait, what? What is going on? I guess that'd be fine, but how do I put this? Have we had enough Gojuro Sato? What? I want you to be a bit more forward thinking, Yuji. Sure, I want you to carry on my dream should anything happen to me, but if this is where I bow out, there'll be a point where you guys grow further than I ever did. I think there should be at least one among you who forgets about me and develops strength completely different from that of my own. None of us could ever forget you. Coming from Itadori is like, you seem kind of out of character. You sounding a little timid. Are you okay? As goes is like, ha, you're such a kid. Oh my gosh. Let me just, oh, sorry. I don't think it's going off. But I'm going to my phone. As far as I'm aware, my hopefully y'all didn't hear that, but I highly doubt you, that y'all did. But going back, hopefully this gets cut. No, okay, cool. As we have just Gojo saying, ha, you're such a kid. This is confidence. 
confidence I'd never had before. I'm expecting great things from you. Got that, Yuji? Oh. As the dude is like, you acknowledge you messed up. That's all that matters. Take some time to reflect, then come help us on our next mission. I'm expecting great things from you. Oh, oh. By the way, what did you do with that thing? Oh, I tossed it. What? Don't sweat it. It's not dangerous anymore. Should make for a perfect talisman now. Come on. It's all good. Wait, what? Howdy, Sukuna. Who would have thought to s I'd see you here? Well, well. What's this? Our third conversation? My technique messes with the soul after all. Consider this a vestige. Welcome to the pathway souls walk on their way down the cycle. I meant to ask you. You were lying, weren't you? To yourself and everyone else. You weren't living according to your own stature. You wanted revenge. Revenge against those who resented and persecuted the cursed, unwanted little wrench. What's the difference? I lived in the only manner I knew. That is how I chose to go on. Actually, no. I had different paths that I could have traversed. Two, to be precise. Wait, what? I get, I couldn't help but spit out the curses stirring deep within my viscaria. I feared my own curse would emulate me. Wait, what? Should there be a next time? Perhaps it would be nice to walk a different path. That's so boring. You've gone soft, asshole. Obviously, I lost after all. What the hell? So I'm the only one left sulking like a child? God damn it. I'm, I'm, I'll wait. Okay. As we get all of them. Oh, we get them back together. They're together. They're together. Okay. As it's like a creak. Okay. Thank you so much for reading the past six years. Please look forward to Gege Akatami's next work. Volumes 29 and 30 will be pre-released together on December 25th. The end. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Ooh, I don't. Uh, 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 Someone explained to me, uh, see, see, here's the thing. This is kind of the reason why I didn't go as depth into Jutsu Kaisen, because uh, it's, it's somehow it's hard for me to understand this stuff. And because I don't really understand, especially with like the first half of this chapter, I think it was fine. I enjoyed the first half. It was just funny, comedic, like slice of life, like a uh, monster of the week type of scenario. Uh, I guess the issue that I start having is like with Gojo and Itadori and I'm like, what is Itadori supposed to be doing? What lesson did he learn from Gojo? Like, I don't like I understand what Gojo wanted to do is that he wanted to instill this like ideal of like surpassing him and creating a better world. Uh, but he knows that he couldn't do it, but he wanted like his students to do it. I understand that part. I just, I, I'm trying to understand like the lesson that he left with like this last part. Also the fact that Gojo appeared in the last chapter, even though he's dead, classic gay gay, but I'm just having a hard time. I don't think the message is as clear as I've seen in like other series, like with like how Attack on Titan ended, the ending message was clear. Uh, when I read Promise Neverland, that ending was a little bit more clear. My Hero Academia, that ending was a little bit more, even with the Seven Deadly Sins, like the ending was a little bit more clear than what we're getting with this. And like, it's not even like we're, oh, continuing on with Jujutsu Kaisen part two. Which, fine, but it's like, I don't understand how it's ending. He's like, I'm expecting great. It's like Gojo, it's like Itadori has become Gojo, but it's like, but he's like not, but he is. And like, it's very unclear on that, at least from how I'm viewing it. And also the implication is that like, from the last chapters, we realized that, yeah, Sukuna still exists because there's still one finger left because it's the figure that they literally used. And now, like, it doesn't really have any much power because Sukuna is, like, passing on. So 
this kind of confirms that yes, yeah, Sukuna has officially become a curse. He is a curse. That's why he has this aesthetic look. He is definitively a curse by the fact that he's meeting up with uh, Mahito. But it's like, uh, it's like, it's like, did we need to see Mahito? Like he obviously didn't learn a lesson or really grew from his experience, but because he's a curse, that kind of makes sense. But it's like, they tried to make Sukuna out to be like, I, I guess I understand why people may not like what's going on with Sukuna right now, because Sukuna has always been like this type of like force of nature and really didn't have any type of nuance to him. And this adds some type of nuance to him but you know what? It, it's kind of like the new ones that we got with like Fairy Tale with Agnologia. It's like, oh, he did this. He's supposed to be this force of nature, but he did this like for revenge or with Agnologia because like society like took away his family. So it's like, like, it's ah. Uh... See now that I compared that to Agnologia, ah. Uh... No, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it as much. Like, I try not to put my own biases in. I think that if, compared to Fairy Tale, it, this is done better, but I don't think or understand, like, what this is supposed to mean. Like, if I re maybe the official translations will explain it a little bit more, more, more. But from here, revenge against those who resented and persecuted the cursed unwanted little wretch like the cursed like is the implication that he was like ridiculed because of these like multiple things but we've seen that he was like praised so it's like i mean sure like he people didn't like him but it's like that that was his thing that's he wanted revenge but like there seems to have been no indication whatsoever that that was the case. And I guess that's kind of the biggest issue is that there was no implication for it. And that he apparently had like two different paths he could have taken. And is, is the implication that this individual is actually Sukuna or is it like the white hair like individual? So if that's them, does that mean that they've become a curse? I don't. Uh, and also the implication is that now he's going to be walking a different path a, a, a better path like ah and then ah i don't know how i feel about this like this is it's really i hate to say it, it's really a, a, a nothing burger of a chapter or a nothing burger of an ending like people will be hating on like the my Hero academia ending but like at least there was like more substance to it. There was thematic relevance to it. There's a purpose to it. There's really no purpose that I can see with this ending. And I feel as if that's what makes an ending having some type of purpose or tied to the story as a whole, like wrapping up the main point of the story in the final chapter. We've seen it with my hero. I would say we saw it with Attack on Titan, solving an issue that was in the story. Uh, we saw it with The Seven Deadly Sins. We saw it with Promise Neverland. We've seen it with like a lot of manga and I just don't see it with Jujutsu Kaisen. And that's kind of sad. Dragon Ball had a similar like outlook on it, but like even the Dragon Ball ending was done a lot better than this. And I just don't even know this this actually, of all the Shonen series that I've read, this might be the worst. And Fairy Tale, for as much criticism as I can give Fairy Tale, it's still stuck to its themes and thematics and its like relevance to the story. But this, this is really a nothing burger. I, I maybe I need to read more bad manga, like even domestic girlfriends ending which I've read probably had me feel more than this chapter. I don't feel anything. And I think that's what makes me think that the Jujutsu Kaisen ending is the worst, not necessarily bad, but that it made me feel nothing. I felt something with my hero, Bleach. A lot of these series, Naruto, I felt something, literally something, anger or joy or sadness, but I am, just feeling nothing with this and i guess that is disappointing to me
But yeah, I guess this is like my review for the final chapter. This does not make Jujutsu Kaisen in any way a bad series. However, a lackluster ending like this where I feel nothing about it and the story doesn't provide that much for me. Yeah, I think this may be the worst ending in Shonen that I've read. And yeah, that's disappointing. The series as a whole probably has dropped to a seven, which isn't bad. It's not even quote unquote mid, it's good, but it's like, I typically would have given Jujutsu Kaisen maybe upwards of a seven and a half or even an eight, but this, especially with everything that we've gotten with the past chapters and like how everything's wrapping up, uh, yeah, it's not great. It's not, it's not really good. It's not bad. It's just okay. It's not the worst thing that you can have a manga be, but for an ending, yeah, this this might be the worst. I can't, yeah, that's weird. But yeah, like I said, this is sort of my review of the final chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen. Maybe I'll tackle the entirety of Jujutsu Kaisen as a whole, maybe, maybe not. I cannot say for 100% certainty, but hey, let me ask you this. How do you feel about the ending of Jujutsu Kaisen? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Or did you just feel nothing like I did? Uh, leave your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more, more content like this. Do all that cool jazz and hopefully I'll be able to catch you in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>